Hi friends, welcome back to my garden. Today I'm going to show you what has been growing this past month. It is the first week of March and things are starting to look promising in my keyhole garden. Let's take a look. My Swiss chard is still growing like weeds and we eat Swiss chard at least once or twice a week. So we cut it and then it comes back. And right here we have the rosemary. Right over here this past month my cilantro started growing and I've got some parsley growing even though you'll see how much more parsley I have growing somewhere else. Got some purple kale growing, green beans, I've got peas, I've got some carrots, and these are collard greens, these are my onions from the store, and yes guys I cut them and plant them and they grow this big so if you haven't done that yet this is the easiest plant that you can have you're not gonna kill it i promise you uh, give it a try here's the arugula it's growing really well we've had tons of salads with this it is amazing if you like the peppery flavor this one is not very spicy i've got the romaine lettuce and i've had tons of lettuce already um, I cut it and then more leaves come back up so it's perfect. Um, I've got more collard greens here. I've got some purple kale growing very well over here. I haven't had this one yet. I probably will harvest some this week. I've got more greens over here. And just in case you forgot, look how huge this parsley has become. Um, yeah guys, look at this. I try to incorporate a lot of parsley right now into my dishes along with garlic and everything tastes really good with it. On the side I've got some radishes growing and yeah, look at them. It's the first time I actually have put down seeds for radishes. This was one of my friend's uh, gift. She just sends me seeds randomly and I love that about her. I've got some other sort of lettuce growing over here. I'm not sure what it is. I forgot. And, and this is my grapevine. And I've got to tell you a funny story. Okay, so this actually gets really big in the summer. As soon as it starts warming up, which is now, um, you know, you just get a lot of leaves. And last year for the first year, we got grapes. Well, when we bought it, we thought we had this huge grapes. And it ended, it, it ended up being little tiny, what I think is champagne grapes. And the birds loved it. So we had to buy special bags to, uh, it's like a mesh bag type of material to wrap the grapes so that the birds wouldn't get them. And they're super sweet, but they're very tiny. So it's not, um, it's not so enjoyable to eat them because they're so tiny, but they're so sweet. They're really good. So my husband wanted to rip it. <laughs> I'm like, after all these years that it's been growing, it's producing for the first time. Leave it alone. Just leave it there. Maybe somebody will appreciate the champagne grapes. We're not champagne makers, so who knows? But once they start growing again this year, hopefully, I will show you what they look like. I hope you enjoyed my quick tour of what's growing today and uh, that you'll come back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye.